Hello everybody, this is Frony to Bobbin here, and welcome back to Train Drive ATS. So today is another day. Scenario number eleven, I think. Yeah. I well, I say I, I well the title says what what, what what scenario time once again here in Train of ATS one. And today uh we're doing the five zero zero three Rapid Express Yori Machi. Uh, which is a, well, actually lives up to its name as it is a bit of an express service, thankfully. No stopping service or anything like that. Nope, it's full run. And apparently we're actually doing uh, most flying today on the way to Yorimachi. So I'm not sure how far up the line that is, but I, uh, according to Andre, uh, as you mentioned in the last video, uh, we're going to be driving the rest of the route today or something. So, okay, I don't really know, uh, but let's find out and jump right into it. Before we get on the rails, be sure to check out my Fiverr gig. Link is in the description. So, starting on the south end of the line. Um, not about to go soon. Alright, here we- Oh, it's the green train! Yes! The green train, my favorite. Alright. Who doesn't love some green train action? All right. Well, look at that episode just turned into. We already got a green trade sighting. Nice. So yeah, starting in the south end of the map, but we're heading north up to Yorimachi, which I'm not sure how far the line that is, but uh, we will see. All right then, here we are. Okay, almost sped there, but yeah, thankfully they okay. But thank this is Trinity BTS one. We're speeding. Won't apply the emergency brake and bring the train to complete stop, and will instead just slow the train down just a tiny bit, and then you can keep going. So yay! Welcome back to Trinity BTS one, the easiest of the Trinity BTS games to play. Yeah. And um, yeah, I wasn't actually planning on doing a uh, well. Originally, I wasn't planning on doing a Trinity BTS one video this week, but. I've decided to do this video for two reasons. Uh, number one, uh, because I, right now I don't really feel like uh, downdating uh, Euro Train Simulator. Okay, this announcer is still going. Stop at every station? No, I thought you, this was an express. We're not gonna stop at every station. No, because that's boring. We're gonna skip both stations because we're an express. Okay, are you done yet, Mr. Announcer? Holy moly. Okay, thank you. As I was saying before, then, so, Euro Train Simulator. Uh, the reason why I decided not to do a video on that game this week is because, for one, I have absolutely no motivation to go in and try to downdate that game back to the version before they made the, uh, the France map a payware thing. So, yeah, I have, I, I can't be bothered to do that right now. Uh, and secondly, uh, because the, uh, the last Trinity BTS 1 video was really short. Actually, it was only, like, 10 minutes. Actually, it wasn't even 10 minutes. It was a very short video, and I figured, yeah, it's quite a long wait for, you know, a train of ATS video, only for the video itself to be really short. And I also didn't want to, you know, have you guys wait a while longer for uh, for another train of ATS scenario video. Uh, because with the release of Train Sim World 4 soon, uh, these videos are going to go on a break, bit of a break once again, and for two weeks straight, there will be live streams on Train Sim World 4. So I will not be doing any train of ATS content uh, for those couple of weeks. So I figured, before that these games go on a little break once again, I figured, let's do another Train of ATS 1 video, a much longer video where we're driving a long way, yes. And also because you guys seem to, don't seem to give a single darn about the uh, Euro Train Splitter videos, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Uh, for the one person out there who watches all the, for all the, watches all the Euro Train Splitter videos, I'm sorry, you have to wait a little bit longer for that, but for the rest of you, here's some, here's another Train of ATS 1 video, yes. And we're doing an express, so yeah, no stopping at a vigilante stations, which is what I like. I like, I yeah, in case you're wondering what I like, uh, I'm more of an express type of guy. I like to just drive along the route without going to stop at a billion stations. Yes! Alright then, well, we are almost approaching the first stop of the day at... I have no idea how to pronounce that. Um, and we also have speed on I think we're skipping this stage as well, which is, yeah, what I like. So, uh, it's come to a point that we've driven this route multiple times, but we still haven't seen, like, the super tippy top of the route. 
and yeah, according to Andre, that's what we're gonna see today. So yeah, looking forward to that. Finally, after oh, oh okay, nearly sped there. Finally, after all this time, we're gonna discover a new section of this line. I mean, we've done the branch to Daishian a bunch of times. We've done the main line up to I forget the name of that station a bunch of times. You know, we've done we you know, you know you know at this point we've driven on most of this line, but of course there's still the very far north part of this line, which is the bits that we still haven't checked out yet in this series. And we are very, very the first issue stop of the day, so let's now concentrate on stopping in the right place. Uh, let's see. Okay, good stop throughout the day. Uh, okay, that actually was pretty bad. Oh boy, not a good start. And we get a score of nothing. Oh. Oh, we get it. oh boy, not off to a good start in this episode. Hey, look, it's the bullet train, except he's being, oh, he's being held up by a local train. Why? Yeah, I guess that's the consequence of adding uh, express train into what's already a very busy timetable, unfortunately. All right, come on. There we go. Alrighty, well, not a good start to this episode. We get a score of nothing for that first uh, season stop of the day. Fortunately, we have 11 kilometers to go to the next stop. Anyway, hello there, Mr. Bullet Train. All right. Unfortunately, being held up by a local bullet train. And yeah, there's actually not that many opportunities to stop in this in this scenario, so we're gonna have to, you know, not do stuff like that and uh, and um, um, you know, score nothing. Anyway, Shin Han Yu is next. Uh, oh, that's actually the decision before like the big long stretch, you know, straight away. So actually, we're going to be skipping a lot of the stations in this towards the southern end of the route. So yeah, this is like the more urban part of the route, um, where there's a lot of stations and buildings and everything. We're going to be skipping a lot of that today. Alright, well, I like a good long one to stretch my wheels. Alright, bit of power. Yes. That's been going on to 45. And of course, getting interrupted, so I have to make a jump cut. I do apologize for that. <sighs> you know what? I've actually gotten lucky and I haven't been interrupted that much in these videos uh, lately, but. Yeah, so that's still one of the consequences of still living with my mom. I do eventually plan on moving out into my own space, but unfortunately with this YouTube thing just not getting quite up to the level that I've expected just yet, it's that's still going to be a, a while away. Oh, so you said you just cruised right through that station, which is weird. Oh, that's the uh, Daishan branch, which we drove in just the last episode. Come on, it's gonna go up. There we go. 100 kilometers per hour, full power. Yes. Alrighty. Nine kilometers to go. Oh, here's the uh, the unbuilt or the section that was built, but now wasn't built. Hmm. So I'm guessing that's the bomb track where this line used to run. 
I actually would have liked to have played this game actually back when that was a thing, but uh, a bit late for that, I think. Hmm, unless there's some way I might be able to get an older version of Trinity ATS-1. Hmm, that might be something I try in the future. But for now, we're using the current version of this game. Uh, right, going fast, we'll just slow down. And yeah, it looks like it's actually gonna take us six minutes to get to Shinhanyu, so... I actually don't think we're gonna be stopped by any local trains today. Um... We're just kinda good to go all the way until the... Next station, which is good. And it's going to increase 85. Alrighty, well, not much to talk about at the moment. Yeah. In fact, I don't think there's going to be actually that much to say until we actually get to the, uh... The news section. Well, then I guess I can use that virtue and talk about some updates. Um, so, yeah, as I mentioned in the community post a couple days ago, yeah, Train World 4 is going to be a big thing. Uh, I am going to train. Come in, I want to get a picture of. Going on a 60, okay. Back yeah, train symbol four is gonna be a thing really soon. In fact, as I'm as of the day that I'm recording this, we only have two days left until the release of the train symbol four special special edition. And if you're wondering why I'm so excited for that, um, even though this is train symbol world, well, of course, there is still the uh, the editor to come out, um, you know, next Tuesday, but. Um, you know, I'm really excited for the editor, but, uh, I also need something to hold me, hold myself over until then, um, so for them looking forward to playing with the, uh, the new features and stuff, though, that'll be in Trains World 4, such as the, uh, the free roam mode, um, maybe I'll use the Scenario Plan 2.0, uh, cause just, uh, just this past Monday, uh, Dunkel did a, uh, live stream showing off the uh, the free roam mode which is actually another feature that I'm really looking forward to um yeah for watching the uh, the stream yesterday free roam does look a lot of fun so at least I'll have that to mess around with uh, until the game properly releases on September 26th I may do a live stream by the way on train symbol 4 um soon Oh, I say it may. I do have plans for live streams uh, starting next week. Oh, here's Waterbound Station. Yeah, the good old station that we all find out back in the day. Of course, been through here multiple times. <sighs> Some hair on my iPad. Um, but yes, yeah, very much looking forward to Train Tool 4. And like I said, I might do a live stream on it. Uh, possibly this Thursday when, it, when the uh, Special Special Edition releases. But until then, uh, it's been a real struggle to try to get through these days, because I just want to trade some will, but no, I, I still have to keep waiting for it. It's almost crazy that I'm this excited for a train school game, because, you know, I was, the funny thing, I was going to, you know, the train school being like, oh, it's going to be the same old dubs again, but, you know, the editor feature, though, that is what's really got me looking forward to train some will for. Um... That's why I'm so excited for it. Like, if the editor, don't worry, if the editor feature wasn't in Train Symbol 4 and it was just another copy and paste, well, I mean, that's still what it is. If it was just a copy and paste game, 
with the, you know, just some new stuff. I wouldn't be, you know, I, I'd probably still be somewhat excited for it, but, you know, not up to this level to where I'm trying to make time go by as best as I can each day to get there. Uh, Forks, I've got this video to record today, so, hey, at least this will keep me occupied. Um, listen until I've completed the recording of this video, and then after this, I'll probably just spend the rest of the day just doing whatever I feel like doing. Anyway, we're actually about to approach Shin Hanyu, so let's actually make this a good stop, because we have no points, and that is bad. We need points, so this time, let's not overshoot the platform or any of that nonsense. Let's do this properly. So Shin Hanyu, this is kind of like a... Sort of a central station, but not really central station. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's make this a good stop this time. Yeah, come on, come on. There we go. A much better stop that time. How many points for that? 79. That's what I like to see. All right. So, yeah, we need buzzer points. Obviously. Oh, looks like we have a quick stop here, too. Only 30 seconds. But forget to keep going upwards. All right. So, we're pretty much past all the busiest parts of the line now. We're kind of entering the part line that's more kind of in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so, we're going all the way to Yorimachi. So, that's... Which is, yeah, so I think previously we've actually ended off at Tosai Debotsu Koen. Yeah, so we're still going to the tippy 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 top of the line, but we're still going more further north than we were uh, beforehand. Also, hey, another long distance journey to Himimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim
Can I max it out 100? Oh, oh, we did, yeah. 120.99. That's the fast you can go for, you know, the game uh, lowers your speed a little bit. But yeah, I was right on the margin. Wow. I think that's the first time I've ever been able to do that on this 120 kilometer per hour stretch. This is a straight track. Oh, can I left for a little bit? Oh, bit of break. There we go. Going downhill. And now we're flat again. Power. There we go. By the way, is this the first time we've gone on the stretch without stopping at any of the stations? Like, we just go straight from... Uh, where that big station was called. The station that we came from up to my Miami. This is, I'm, okay, probably not, but is this the first time that we've driven on the stretch without stopping at any of these stations? I'm not sure. I, I, I often forget what happened in these previous episodes because, uh, well, because I just forget things easily. That's just the way I am. Been that way my whole life. Uh, well, it right, looks like our 5 speed fun is over as I just slowed on to 90. As we're approaching a bend, then inevitably the next station stop. That was fun, though. I like going fast. Especially in a train that doesn't normally go fast. You know. This train wasn't necessarily built for speed, of course. You know, it was primarily built for, you know, stop-start commuter services, but... These trains, they, they, they're at least capable of going uh, somewhat high speeds. Of course, not high speed up to the level of the Shinkansen, but still pretty, pretty quick. And here we are at Himi Mayash. Another legend of Trina VTS on the 13 channel. Alright, there's another good stop. Get some more points on the board. Let's see, we got a red coming up. I think I'm just coasting to the station. Oh, we got some time. If I can just coast right in and just get to a gentle stop and score some points. Okay, I don't want to stop this much though. Come on. No. All right, come on. And to a gentle stop. No. Nope. All right, that will do it. Oh no, we're actually still moving there. Okay, whatever. That will do. Good enough. How many points? 68. Oh, we're one away from glory. <laughs> Fast forward mode. Looks like somebody on the snare has also decided to go fast forward mode. And the points change points have changed those three. Alright. Yeah, enjoy flight mode with purchase. Eh, not really. I don't think you can actually buy flight mode here in Train of ATS-1. The only way to get it is to play through all the scenarios. Which I'm fine with. Basically, now we're doing a complete series on all these scenarios. So, yeah, anyone who's looking into Train of ATS but isn't sure what to expect, well, this series is for you to watch. Okay, so now we're sort of entering the more quiet parts of the map or more desolate. You know what I mean? Yeah, so this track here to our left comes just stops. Actually, there's even a canary there. Huh. I guess some diesel trains while I'm there. Hmm. Oh, that would have been interesting to see as AI. And goes off the end of the world. Alright, well now we're really far north. So next is Tosai de Butikowen. I believe that is the furthest north that we have gone thus far uh, in this game. Hang on, this might be the first time that we see those branch line local trains all the way, all the way up north. Ah. So yeah, we're finally going to see some new stuff in this episode. But first, hey, a little bit of more high-speed grinding on what is a singular track, yeah. Crazy that it took me this long to know that this was here in this game. 
you know, I've always played on the, uh, the southern parts of this map. You know, it wasn't until I started the scenario, the scenario series that I've actually seen, like, the really far north north parts of this map. That's actually pretty cool. Speed of the road to 80. Alright, we're going on that, uh, siding. Or, I guess, side track. Yeah, we are. Okay. Because, of course, that must be a train on our track. Oh, well, there's no stopping here. Blue train. Oh, reduction to 60. Man, game, why won't you let me have my fun? <laughs> you know, it could have blasted right through here if they sent that other train on the, uh, the other platform. <sighs> why didn't you do that? Yeah. Could have saved a couple seconds there. Alright, come on, go back up. There we go. Alright, full power. <clears throat> no, direction to 75. I suppose we're a 10 car service. Alright, we got the maximum amount of cars we can get here in Trinity ATS. Level crossing. And here's the invisible bridge. That version is 55. And. Oh. Oh, version 25. Super slow. Alright, yeah, this is it. Tosai de Bosuko and the um, highest point thus far, but not today. Today we go further. But unfortunately, we have to go slowly. I suppose, why couldn't we go on that platform? Oh, because there's another train taking that part? Oh, hang on, there's two train decks about to pull the platforms. Ah, fine. I'll go on the slow platform. Captain Slow. Okay, a bit more acceleration. So don't come to a complete stop. Okay. Let's get another good score on the board. Come on, and oh. Okay, slightly overshot it, but at least it came to a smooth stop. I think. Uh, 57 points. Okay, not bad. Let's see, we have a few minute wait till we get to depart. Of course. Well, here we are then. Um, yeah, normally though, or normally, yeah, we go into that yard there where that red train is at, but today we get to go further. So up to Yori Machi, which is actually not too far up the line, but eh, unless we're going through new bits. Yeah, I guess most trains don't terminate here, though, because... Oh, hang on. We had a train. Yeah. Look at those bouncy, bouncy coaches. Ten car train. Actually, I'm not sure if I'll use it as a thumbnail. Uh, mm, we'll see. Or oh, maybe I will. I don't know. <laughs> All right, person will be our departure. And there we go. Okay, next up is. Bushu Matsumiyama. Okay. Well, I know we definitely have been on this part of the line before. 
So here we are, about to go into the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I'm guessing because this part of the line is so well that, you know, there's just not much demand for trains to go this far. So most trains just terminate, you know, there at that station. Because otherwise, if all the trains ran up to uh, where we're going, well, you know, there'd be a lot of traffic for one and for another, the trains would be mostly empty. Alright, well, here we are then. Trees. Okay, yeah, I know what Andrew was mentioning when he said, oh yeah, there's the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, there's no buildings. Just a river and trees and track. That's it. Production uh, 60. Yeah, if I could coast on a 60, because we're going up a pretty steep hill, it looks like. Oh, if only we had free cam. I need to get some cool shots here. Well, dang, it looks like we're going through some sort of, like, mountain pass. Oh! Whoa, almost sped there. Okay, gentle, be more gentle on the throttle. Come on. Yeah, it's just a river. A bridge. Okay, gotta be really careful with the throttle. I guess we go between P3 and P2. Yeah, look at this. We're going through a forest. I tell you what, this really is the middle of nowhere. That's such a stark contrast, too. I mean, one end of the line is in a big city, and the other end is just in the middle of the countryside. It's rather interesting. Not even trains, train of ATS 2 and 3 have that. Yeah, train of ATS. Yeah, meanwhile, train of ATS 2 and 3, the entirety of those routes is all urban. Whereas this route is basically a hybrid. One part of it is big city, the other part of it is rural landscapes. I like it, actually. Are there no stations up here? Hold up. No, we're on the way to Bits. Bits. Bits what are that station's called? Then again, where would you put a station here? There's no towns or anything. There, we're up to 100. All oh, right. Well, yeah, this is actually quite cool. It's a shame that's taken us this long to get to this point. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, we're in scenario number 11. We'll only have about... Uh... Four regular scenarios to go, and then the uh, the two DLC scenarios for the uh, bullet train. Crazy! This game has been out since 2012. I got into this game in about 2013, and it's taking me this long to drive up here. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, that was mainly just down to the fact that I was more of a rail fan than a driver back in the day. But now that I've actually decided to come in and play through all these scenarios, it's been a rather interesting experience. Alright, up to 105. Still going uphill. Yes. Man, we're needing all the power to get the steep hill. Oh, so we're getting back into some civilization. There we go. Oh, down twenty-five. So, Bushu Matsuyama. Bushu Matsuyama. Yeah, close enough. 
Do not ever go to see this piece of a snail. Why? Ugh. Oh, tiny bit of speeding there. I don't like quality stations though. Come on. A couple of skyscrapers though. That's a bit uh, interesting. All right, let's get some more points on the board. We have 202 points. We still have plenty, but you know, better to be safe than sorry. Because you never know if we could have some sort of horrific failure and we lose all our points. Or multiple horrific failures. Okay, here we are. Let's get a good stop. Oh, there we go. That will do it. How many points? 79. All right, good stop there. Now, but if that's forward action, so we're not sitting here all day. I really wish we had the uh, the free room camera, though, so I could, you know, fly around the station and take out the surrounding area. But no, unfortunately, we won't have that until I complete all the scenarios, which is a bit of a bummer. And don't worry, I will be doing a flat mode video here in Train of ATS-1 once we unlock it. Oh, another train. Hello. This explains the way. Okay, so Yori Maxi, I believe that is... No, it's not the next station. Nah, something Onsen. Are we going to stop there or no? Let's see. And we are. Okay. Now we are onsen. Next stop. Naira onsen. Bit more power. And full power. And now we're in a tunnel. Yay. Alright, not far from the next tunnel. And yeah, I guess this entire thing is a tunnel. Nothing to see here. Literally. Yeah, we're getting close to the next station, though. And we have a 65. I guess that's with a sharp curve up ahead. There it is. Another invisible bridge. I got some skyscrapers here, though. Looks like we're getting back into some civilization again. I guess that is all single track, apart from the station. Is it a single track platform? Yeah. Alright, let's bring it. Wait, where are we stopping? Oh, we're stopping all the way out here. Oh. Uh oh. Stop! Uh, hey, that wasn't a bad. Okay, one. Okay, I overshot a tiny little bit, but it still wasn't too bad. It's still. Okay, there's six points. Okay, so, uh, mid stop. Alright, and, uh, this is definitely worth seeing. Look, there's a platform for the driver to get out of. Hmm. 
And we're actually stopped over level crossing too. This is the weirdest station I've ever seen. And is that one of the local thingy trains? The B You know, also I've never actually seen these trains up close. In fact, I didn't even know this was in the game. Alright, Yorimachi is coming up. Yeah, then there's lined up to Thing of Jake, which Um Yeah, so I actually, you know, asked about that and yeah so this super high up portion so those are served by some local trains that only run this area so uh, and there are no scenarios for that so unfortunately we'll only be able to drive this part of the line once we get all the scenarios complete and we look at the service mode thing and we will check that out in a future video as well don't worry well, here we are then i'm guessing this is the tippy tippy top of the uh of these commuter trains that run down south to, uh, thingy. Alright, we're here then, our last up of the day. Uh, unfortunately, let's see. Are we gonna see? Nah. Bumba, we're not gonna be able to see any of the, uh, local trains up close today. Where we are then, our last stop of the day. That was fun, checking out a new part of the route, and also blasting on that straightaway at 120 kilometers per hour. Alright, uh, okay, not the best stop in the world, but still decent. Final score is 408, so I guess that last stop was actually pretty good. Alrighty then, uh, so 50% of on that one. Up next, we've got another service scenario. Uh, it's a bit of a shorter one, so. All right, well, I guess we'll see how that scenario goes. But that will do it for this episode. Scenario, okay, it's not really an episode. Uh, okay, that will do it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in whatever I make next.